On this 80th anniversary of D-Day, we are looking back at some of the Kelloland heroes of World War II. Thousands of South Dakotans went off to fight in the war in Europe and the Pacific, and more than 1,400 would never come home. Joe Foss is probably the best known of South Dakota's war heroes. The World War II fighter pilot shot down 26 enemy planes. The Marine ace and Medal of Honor winner would later become the 20th governor of South Dakota and the commissioner of the American Football League. South Dakota lays claim to another top ace of World War II, naval aviator Cecil Harris, who shot down 24 enemy planes. Uh, Cecil Harris doesn't get as much credit as, as Joe Foss, even though the, the numbers are comparable in terms of, of enemy aircraft shot down, uh, because he wasn't a Medal of Honor winner. He won the Navy Cross, which is the, the second highest award that, that one could be given. Senator John Thune's dad, Harold, flew with Harris in the war. Former senator and 1972 presidential candidate George McGovern had one of the most dangerous jobs during the war. He flew B-24 bombers over Germany. McGovern and his squadron mates only had a 25 percent chance of making it home without being killed, wounded, or captured. Probably one of the most notable unsung heroes of World War II is Fort Pierce Commander John Waldron, who led Torpedo Squadron 8 in an attack at the Battle of Midway. Don Jorgensen focused on Waldron during this story in 2018 with artist John Mollison. Waldron was a Native American who was born in South Dakota. And what he did is he led a fateful torpedo mission during the Battle of Midway. Professor Hackamer says Waldron may very well have been the key to changing the tide of the war against the Japanese. The attack looked like a complete failure. None of the torpedoes hit. Every plane was shot down. Um, but what Waldron and his men did by pulling the, the Japanese fighter cover down um, was they opened up the sky above them for American dive bombers. And it's those dive bombers who are famously credited for, for sinking the four Japanese carriers at the Battle of Midway. Now, only one member of that squadron survived the attack. John Waldron Memorial Bridge connects Pier and Fort Pier, a tribute to a man from a small town who made a big difference in a time of war.